Good morning, COM 107. Well, I've been getting a lot of emails all addressing or talking about the same question, which I guess I should probably make a short video on, which is, what do you do when you specifically record yourself? How should you act? Is there any sort of like guidelines or bright lines uh, for how you're supposed to carry yourself or like enact yourself in front of the camera uh, in these moments? Uh, and so let's first and foremost just come to the conclusion that we aren't going to have a real material audience for you to look at, for you to talk to, for you to address. So instead, you're really just situating yourself vis-a-vis -vis, uh, this camera lens, which is currently located somewhere up on your screen. So if a lot of you are doing what I do, for instance, which is like writing down notes, uh, looking at your organizational schemes, you're going to probably have them lower on the screen or somewhere else, uh, which is going to detract your attention from the sole focus point, which is the camera lens, which is either built into your web camera, uh, built into your phone, or built into wherever you're supposed to look to maintain the guidance of eye contact. So for instance, I know a lot of you are probably saying, hey, Aaron's looking at me right now. Well, that's because I'm looking at the little circle at the very top of my laptop, which indicates that's where I'm going to be looking. The second thing I would like to give out as a main piece of advice is when you're recording yourself, if, for instance, I've noticed a lot of people uh, always have a downward angle where they sit too close to the object at hand and it's just like all right we get the weird chin shot thing going on uh, which is sometimes not the most flattering of images uh, and so if any of you are photography people and you know about the rule of thirds uh, if you centralize yourself in the camera and allow yourself a lot more space uh, it makes it look like you're built into the frame or into the picture and not just kind of like forcibly kind of putting yourself into it uh, so make sure you give yourself some space between yourself and the camera and allow yourself to have that kind of like fundamental stop gap moment of just like okay we can see everything around uh the space uh and so forth the only person watching these videos is going to be me and i am the least judgmental person of all time as you can see my bed's not even made currently right now uh which is just as weird for me to be saying that to you all as probably as you all hearing it uh and so if you have any questions don't over freak out about the recording part of it if you do not have the technology necessary to make it work tell me uh and i will be willing to work work with you uh, and we'll figure out something else that we can do to get all of these things done. Uh, with that said, keep in contact, keep in touch. Let me know if there's anything else I can help uh, to address the question. So remember, look at the camera. You don't need to pretend that there's an audience in the room. I mean, if you really want and you have like a full family members that want to sit around and listen to a speech, you could film everybody in their entirety together. But like, that's totally unnecessary and going above and beyond uh, the protocol in and of itself. And I also enjoy all of the times when people have guest cameo appearances in their videos. That always makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, so thank you all for being amazing uh, and let me know if you need anything at all uh, I think that's about it cool um, I'll be posting many more videos this week on how to like do persuasion